Welcome back to Brief Broadcast Breakdown on Minute Therapy. Today, we're venturing into the intriguing world of American Horror Story Delicate, a season that stands out as the series' first adaptation of a novel. If you've been following along with us during these videos, we've gone through a long journey through the history of the show, and it's been a great experience. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Delicate. The season does have some unique elements to it, though. Delicate introduces a different kind of horror that is both refreshing and deeply psychological. On paper, this is fine, but different does not necessarily mean that it is good. The season's pacing is notably slower, culminating in a final episode packed with rapid exposition that leaves us with more questions than answers. Today, we're going to delve into how these elements blend to create a season that culminates in possibly the most divisive season of American Horror Story. American Horror Story Delicate is based on Danielle Valentine's novel, Delicate Condition. Here, we are drawn into the complex world of Anna Victoria Alcott, a 36-year-old actress navigating the perils of infertility in modern New York City. As Anna and her husband Dex achieve a fragile hope with a successful embryo implantation amid her rising career prospects, their lives are upended by a menacing stalker. Forced to flee to a secluded friend's house, the couple's relief turns to horror as Anna grows increasingly troubled by ominous doubts about her pregnancy and sanity, reflecting a chilling narrative that intersects with historical accounts of women's similar fates across centuries. At the core of Delicate are Anna Victoria Alcott and her husband Dex, whose struggles with infertility set the stage for a narrative filled with suspense and psychological horror. After a failed attempt at in vitro fertilization, the couple's second attempt succeeds and Anna becomes pregnant. This moment of triumph is overshadowed by a series of disturbing events, including being stalked, which forces them to seek refuge in a friend's house. As her pregnancy progresses, Anna's joy turns to fear, convinced that something is gravely wrong with her baby and her own sanity. Adding to this tension is Siobhan Corbin, who in this show is transformed from a supportive figure in the novel to a sinister antagonist. Siobhan, portrayed as a narcissistic immortal being, manipulates Anna and others for her dark centuries spanning schemes. Her actions and the evolving dynamic between these characters weave a complex web of trust, betrayal, and supernatural intrigue. Delicate delves deeply into themes of fertility, paranoia, and the intersection of past and present traumas. At its core, the season explores the intense psychological horror that accompanies the desire for motherhood and the fear of losing control over one's body and mind. Anna's journey is a narrative about the vulnerabilities and societal pressures women face, particularly concerning fertility and mental health. The intercut chapters from different time periods serve to highlight the universal and timeless nature of these fears. They draw parallels between Anna's contemporary struggles and historical accounts of women facing similar anxieties. This thematic layering enriches the narrative, offering a critique of how societal attitudes towards women's bodies and autonomy have evolved, or in some cases remain disturbingly static over centuries. Additionally, the show comments on the often overlooked or dismissed fears and traumas women endure, bringing them to the forefront of a horror narrative that traditionally might not center these experiences. By weaving in elements of supernatural and psychological horror, Delicate underscores how real-life issues can feel just as terrifying and insurmountable as any fictional threat. Delicate is rich with symbolism that deepens the narrative and enhances its thematic depth. One of the primary symbols is the recurring imagery of mirrors and reflections, representing Anna's fragmented sense of self and her growing paranoia. These mirrors often distort her image symbolizing her fear of losing control over her body and mind. The eerie stalker, whose presence forces Anna and Dex to flee, symbolizes the external pressures and societal scrutiny that intensify Anna's internal fears. The house they retreat to, initially a safe haven, gradually transforms into a prison, symbolizing the illusion of safety and the omnipresence of their fears and anxieties. Additionally, the supernatural elements tied to Siobhan's character, such as her immortality and malevolent plans, symbolize the enduring and pervasive nature of patriarchy and control, extending across generations and manifesting in various forms of power and manipulation. Delicate brings a fresh narrative to the American Horror Story franchise, blending psychological horror with deeply personal themes of fertility and mental health. 
While its unique premise and rich symbolism promise a captivating experience, the season struggles with pacing and character development, which ends up creating a subpar experience overall. One prominent part of American Horror Story is that the first half of each season sets the stage for the second half, which provides the big reveals and emotional payoff that completes the journey of each story. These elements work together in a tried and tested formula. From Murder House to 1984, this formula works effectively to provide some emotionally compelling stories. The absence of the formula is apparent in Delicate because of the poor pacing of the first half. We are not left with sufficient information by the start of the second half, which culminates in the final episode info dumping all important details in a short time frame, and this only creates more confusion. For example, how exactly does chanting one sentence repeatedly defeat a centuries old witch? And why did that witch want to take over the world? Is Anna a witch as well? What happened to the other witches and what is their purpose? What is the purpose of all the gaslighting towards Anna? I understand that when doing an adaptation of a work, some aspects of it are changed by necessity, but those changes should positively affect the work. It benefits no one to drastically change the arcs of major characters if the payoff is underwhelming. The end result of making the witches antagonistic seemed to remove the, any depths they had in favor of making them cartoon villains, which is disappointing given that American Horror Story generally has very complex antagonists. As we reflect on Delicate, it's clear that it was trying to be different from what came before, and it certainly is. There are some good ideas and important themes this season, but the changes do not help the story, and the uneven pacing makes it difficult to watch. Ultimately, the season ends abruptly and leaves one with the feeling that we're missing another episode to conclude the story. What are your thoughts on American Horror Story Delicate? Did its unique approach resonate with you, or did the pacing and character changes detract from your experience? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's discuss. If you found this breakdown insightful, please like, subscribe, and share your insights in the comments. Stay tuned for more deep dives into American Horror Story and other intriguing series. I heard a new season will be dropping next year, so when that comes out, I hope it does a return to form. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.